Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. So in the previous tutorial we described our business problem, we also pre-processed our data set by preparing our matrix of features, our dependent variable, splitting the data set into the training sets and the test set, and we eventually applied feature scaling which is required for PCA. And now in this tutorial we are going to apply our first dimensionality reduction technique, principal component analysis. So let's do it. As usual, the first thing that we need to do is to import the right package and more precisely the right class to use PCA. Because as usual, we are going to import a class, then create an object of this class, and then we will apply the classic fit transform and transform method from this PCA object that we're going to create on respectively the training set and the test set. So let's do it. Let's start by importing the right class. And so we import this class from sklearn.decomposition, here it is, the first one, here we go, and then import, and very simply, PCA in capitals. All right, so that's our class, and now we're going to create an object of this PCA class. And this object, we're going to call it PCA, and then equals, and then that's where we take the class, PCA in capital letters, and then parenthesis and inside these parentheses we are going to import the main argument which is the number of principal components and this argument is called n components like this and so basically this is the number of extracted features you want to get that will explain the most the variance and depending on what variance you would like to be explained you will choose the right number of principal components all right, so then equals, and that's where we specify this number. But the problem now is that we know we want to get two principal components eventually to be able to visualize this training set results and the test set results, but we don't know how much variance these two components explain. So we need to check this, you know, we need to make sure that the two first principal components that explain the most variance don't explain the too low variance. And therefore, we are not going to input 2 here. We are going to input none. Because then, we will create a vector that we're going to call explained variance. And we're going to see the cumulative variance explained by all the principal components. So you will see, this will get more clear when we have a look at the vector. Okay, so let's input this for now. That creates our PCA object. And now we are going to use this object to apply two methods the fit transfer method to fit this PCA object to the training set so that this PCA object can see how the training set is structured and therefore how it can extract some new independent variables that explain the most variance and therefore eventually this PCA object will be fitted to the training set. And then once this object is fitted to the training set, we will only use the transform method to transform as well the test set, that is xtest. So let's do it. Let's start by fitting this object to the training set and transforming the training set at the same time. So we take our training set, which is represented by the matrix of features X train, then equals, and then we take our PCA object and then dot, and that's where we use the fit transform method, which is here, press enter, and you know how to do now. We need to input here X train the matrix of features for the training set. All right, so that will fit our object to the training set and transform it at the same time, that is extracting all the principal components. And now let's do the same transformation for the test set. So we take our test set here and inside the parenthesis here, we input the test set, X test. Great, so now the extractions are done at this stage, but as I told you, we need to have a look at the cumulative explained variance of the different principal components. And therefore, we are going to create this explained variance vector that is going to contain the percentage of variance explained by each of the principal components that we extracted here. So explained variance, and then the trick is to use an attribute of the PCA object so we take our object PCA, then dot, and then this attribute that we want to take is 
the explained variance ratio here. That will give us the list of all the principal components and we will get the percentage of variance explained by each of them. So let's take it and here we go, that's ready. Now we can have a look at these explained variance of all the principal components. So let's take all this section here and execute. Perfect, executed correctly. And so now what we're interested to see is the explained variance vector. All right, so as you can see, since we originally had 13 independent variables, well, it extracted 13 principal components. So these 13 components are independent variables, but these are not the original independent variables that we had in our data set. These are the new extracted independent variables, but that explain the most the variance. And as you can see, they are ranked from the first principal component that explains the most the variance down to the 12th and last principal component that explains the least the variance. So that means that if we include one principal component that will explain 37% of the variance. Then if we take two principal components, that will explain 37 plus 19 equals 56% of the variance. And then if we take the top three principal components, that will explain 37 plus 19 plus 10, well, 11, equals 67% of the variance, and etc. So remember what we want to take are the first two principal components because we want to get two dimensions in the visualization of the training set results, and therefore we need two independent variables, that is the two principal components. And so we can see that if we take the two top principal components here, well, they will explain 56% of the variance. And that is pretty good. That is actually okay to make a classification model out of it. So that's good. And so now what we're going to do is take these first two principal components that are going to be the two new independent variables of our data set. And therefore, we are back in the situation of part three, where we have two independent variables, even if originally we had many more than that. 13 independent variables. So that's great. And now I'm going to press OK. I'm going to replace none here by two so that this PCA class extracts the top two principal components that explain the most of variance. And now I just need to reset my console because right now Xtrain and Xtest are not my original training set and test sets because we just transformed them. And of course, we want these two principal components to be extracted from the original data set. So I'm going to reset my kernel here. Restart kernel. Are you sure you want to restart the kernel? Yes. Restarting kernel. Here we go. And so now I'm going to select everything from here to the top. And then let's press command and control plus enter to execute and extract the top two principal components that explain the most the variance of our data set. And now, as you can see, well, our data set is still our original data set with the 13 independent variables and the one dependent variable. But then when we have a look at x now, well, it contains only two independent variables that are, of course, the top two principal components that explain the most variance and besides that are scaled. So that's great. We now have two independent variables and therefore we are ready to fit our logistic regression model and visualize its results in two dimensions. So that's what we'll do in the next tutorial. And until then, 